A few days ago, false allegations were alleged against me from a person in my workplace. This allegation defames me as a man, a father, a husband, and a man of God. This was a reminder for me to know we live in a wicked world. A world where some people will stop at nothing to destroy another person by creating false allegations. As believers in Jesus Christ, we have to rise and defend ourselves spiritually. Tonight we are going to take this battle to the camp of the enemy with prayer, the greatest spiritual protection we have. False accusations against an innocent person are a serious sin before God, and God hates it. The Bible tells us in Psalm 35 verse 20, For they do not speak peace, but against those who are quiet in the land they devise words of deceit. The false accusation is to deliberately damage a person's reputation and integrity. Just like David pleaded with God in Psalm 35 to avenge him, so shall we pray tonight, because the Lord is the avenger of his people. False accusations are painful. They destroy reputations, steal peace and joy, and deny justice. However, do not allow the root of bitterness to grow in you. Hebrews 12 verse 15, the Bible say, See to it that no one falls short of the grace of God, and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble to defile many. We need to repent of any sinful thought or revengeful attitude we may have. When you are wrongfully accused, it is important that you trust in God to keep you secure and free. For God is our strength and shield. If you are ready, God can help you find security and freedom in Him only. Romans 8 verse 28, the Bible says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the call according to His purpose. If you find yourself in a place where you are wrongly accused, get encouragement and pray for God to wipe away the shame and disappoint your mockers. In Isaiah 54 verse 17, the Bible says, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. In Ephesians 6 verse 10 to 11, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Remember, the person spewing slander against you is not your enemy. Satan is. Ephesians 6 verse 12 tells us that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. As I am writing this, it is the midnight hour, and I am ready to do spiritual battle. As the Bible said, take up the whole armor of God, and that you may be able to stand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Do not repay evil for evil. Do not retaliate with insult when people insult you. Instead, pay them back with a blessing. That is what God has called you to do, and He will grant you His blessing. 1 Peter 3 verse 9 As we engage this prayer point against false accusations tonight, God will fight your battles. Do not give up on God. Hand over the battles of your life to God, because the battle is in His hand, not yours. This prayer point today shall give you all around victories in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you because I know that all my prayers today shall be answered in Jesus' name. I claim my victory over every false accusation in my life in Jesus' name. I bind and paralyze the strong and influential false accusers sent to disgrace me in the name of Jesus. Let all the affairs of my life be too hot for any evil power to manipulate in the mighty name of Jesus. O Lord, grant me and those working for my freedom supernatural wisdom to subdue all my opposition in the name of Jesus. O Lord, let it be impossible for my adversary to subdue the truth concerning the issues of my life in Jesus' name. O Lord, let me find favor in the sight of those who are responsible for my freedom on this matter in the name of Jesus. I declare that every evil sponsor of my false accuser shall go broke from the root in the name of Jesus. You satanic agents, I command you to clear out from the path of my victory on this matter in the name of Jesus. Father, let all those who accuse me wrongly become victim of their evil accusation in the name of Jesus. Father, by your mighty hand, set me free from every bondage of false accuser in the name of Jesus. Let every hidden enemy in my life, secretly leaking out sensitive information about me, be exposed, disgraced, and destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, my enemies speak evil against me, wishing the worst things upon my life. My enemy comes to see me and speak falsely against me. His heart gathers wickedness to itself. When he lives, he spread the false accusation. Lord, I pray against those who hate me and talk about me secretly, even those who I thought I could trust, seek to hurt me and turn on me. I pray that your truth becomes my weapon against these lies. 
my eternal God. It is wrong to accuse anyone falsely and to be content with this. But people are speaking lies over me. I pray against the lies and the false accusation and ask that you give me the strength to endure it. Father, I know that you see and hear the lies and I know that you will always protect me. Therefore, I will not retaliate out of anger or hurt. Instead, I praise you because I know that I am set free by your truth. O oh Lord, today I stand on the power of your word and I come against all plans of the wicked to accuse me falsely in Jesus' name. O oh God of heaven, put an end to all evil plans concerning false accusation in my life, my business, my ministry, my marriage in the name of Jesus. My Father, direct my path so I won't be involved in anything that has to do with false accusation in Jesus' name. My Father, rise up and scatter all plans of the enemy to frame lie against me in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, distance me from people that can falsely accuse me in Jesus' name. My Father, expose and disgrace all plans of the enemy concerning evil accusation about me in Jesus' name. My Father in heaven, anywhere I will go that will lead me into trouble, prevent me from going there in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, help me and give me the wisdom to be conscious of my words so people won't use them against me in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, I decree back to sender upon every arrow of false accusation shot at me in Jesus' name. As O oh Lord, send confusion into the camp of everyone planning false accusation against me in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, make me untouchable and unreachable for all form of false accusation in Jesus' name. God, I pray that every false accusation standing in the way of my destiny shall be uprooted and withered away in the mighty name of Jesus. O oh Lord, Lord, in your mercy, wipe my name from all books of false accusation in Jesus' mighty name. O oh Lord, in all my endeavor, guide me and direct me never to walk on a crooked path in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, by your mighty power, save me and deliver me from every snare of false accusers in Jesus' name. My Father, I nullify and render useless all plans of the enemy to destroy my reputation in Jesus' mighty name. O oh Lord, show me your path and guide me in your truth in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, remove me from the traps and pits of false accusation targeted against me in Jesus' name. My Father, every false accusation programmed to work against me at the edge of my breakthrough is hereby swallowed up by fire in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, I return to sender arrows of shame, arrows of disgrace, and false accusation targeted at my life, my career, my academic, my business, my family, and marriage in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, by your fire, I dismantle the altar of false accusation concerning my life in the name of Jesus. My Father in heaven, everything planted by the devil to cause me shame and disgrace, I commanded to be burnt up in Jesus name. My Father, I confidently declare that by the blood of Jesus I am more than a conqueror in Jesus name. O oh Lord, erase my name in my household name from every foul planning and plighting evil accusation against us in Jesus name. O oh Lord, protect me and give me the immunity against all form of wrong accusation in Jesus name. My Father, I refuse to wear the garment of false accusation in Jesus name. My Father, I refuse to be entangled in any web of bad and evil accusation in Jesus name. O oh Lord, I command all unfinished evil and wicked plan against me and my family to be terminated tonight in the name of Jesus. My Father, shine your light through my life that no false accusation can stand against me in Jesus name. My father, this grace all scheme of the devil to demote me and rob my name in the mud in Jesus name. O oh Lord, in all my endeavor, let me find favor in your sight, in the sight of man, in the name of Jesus. My father, grant me the wisdom to know where to visit and what to say at the right time in the name of Jesus. And now I speak to this situation and I say forgiveness of God come forth in Jesus name. Will of God come forth tonight in Jesus name. Vengeance of God come forth tonight in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Mercy of God come forth tonight in Jesus name. New beginning from God come forth right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Love of God be revealed and come forth tonight in Jesus name. Kingdom of God come forth tonight in the name of Jesus. Restoration of God come forth tonight in the name of Jesus. Peace of God which passes us is all understanding come forth tonight in Jesus name. Comfort of the Holy Spirit come forth tonight in the name of Jesus. Divine reversal according to the Father's plan come Come forth tonight in my life in the name of Jesus. Honor from God, come forth tonight in the name of Jesus. I am calling upon the Lord and He will answer me. He is with me in this trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I speak to this situation and I say, let the valleys be brought up. Let the mountains be brought low. Let the crooked places be made straight. Let the rough places be made smooth. Let the glory of the Lord reveal and let all flesh see it together. Thank you, Father, for hearing and answer my prayer tonight. I bless you for it and I give you all the glory for everything you are going to do in Jesus mighty name. Amen.